Welcome to NetSuite. In this video, we will cover the basics of vendor records. To navigate to the list of vendor records, click on Vendors in the Shortcuts portlet. This view shows a list of all vendors. The information is shown in rows and columns with a description of the column at the top. To navigate to a record, click the name of the vendor on the left-hand side. General information about the vendor is shown at the top of the page in the primary information and email phone address section. This includes the name, category, and company type, which are shown here. Below this is the subtab section of the vendor record. As a note, the subtab section varies from company to company. We will cover some of the most used subtabs in this video. The first subtab is the relationship subtab. This subtab shows a complete list of any contacts at the vendor company. Pay particular attention to the contacts role. The contacts role defines what the contacts role in the company is. Roles can be assigned for such things as the primary contact, billing contact, or consultants. Custom roles for the contacts can also be created. To navigate between subtabs, click on the title of the subtab. The address tab shows the addresses that are on file for the vendor. Default billing and shipping addresses will be indicated here. The Communication subtab tracks any emails sent to any contact at the vendor company through NetSuite. The Files tab within Communication is where files related to this vendor will be kept. The Financial subtab shows financial information about the vendor. The information in this page will vary based on your company's needs, but generally this is where information about payment terms, credit limits, and balance amounts are shown. The Purchase History subtab keeps a record of all items purchased from the vendor, including the status of the order. The other subtabs will not be covered in this video. Thanks for watching.